Hey guys, Tech Mitchell with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Apple Watch if you have a flashing or blinking Apple logo on your Apple Watch while you're trying to charge. Now, there's a couple of reasons why this issue is occurring, and luckily you can fix it by following these steps that we're going to show you. So let's get started. So whenever you're having this flashing Apple logo up here, it's going to flash or blink, and it just won't turn on although you're charging it. So the very first thing you want to do in order to troubleshoot it is going to do a forced restart on your Apple Watch. So in order to do a forced restart, you're going to locate the crown and then the button underneath, which is like the power button. You're going to press and hold these two buttons until the screen goes completely black. So you'll see here, you might see the Apple logo still there, but you're going to keep on holding it and until the screen goes completely black. And once the Apple logo reappears again, you'll let go of those buttons. So as you can see here, I'm waiting for it to show the Apple logo and then I let go and hopefully after you have done that and the Apple Watch turns on and you're good to go and it could be simple as that which basically shuts down the Apple Watch completely and reloads the code so if it's software related issue it will be fixed for you. The other thing you can do is um, if you're connecting with your most likely with your iPhone you want to ensure that your iPhone software is up to date in order to update the software of the Apple Watch as well. So in here, I like to go ahead and check, go into settings and then go for a software update and see if there's a software update for the iPhone itself. And you're gonna download and install, give yourself half an hour to 45 minutes. Also make sure that for, uh, for you have at least 50% or more charge and go ahead and do the update. Along with that, you're gonna to wanna to open up your watch app on your iPhone here. And once you open it up, you go to same thing general here and then software update and check if there's an update available there for you. And if there is, it's gonna show up. So as you can see here, it's checking for update right now, which is good. We're gonna wait till the update shows up here and then update it here. As you can see here, download and install. And it tells you in order to uh, make sure you can install the update, you have to make sure the Apple Watch is on your charger and it's connected to Wi-Fi. So you wanna be in range and connected to Wi-Fi. At least 50% or more charges required. Go ahead and download the software update and that's a more of a permanent fix for any issues like you might be experiencing. Now the other thing is, let's say you can't even update the software here or you did it, um, it's still not working. The other thing you wanna do unfortunately is actually leaving your Apple Watch to let the battery drain out completely. It takes somewhere to 10 to 15 hours depending on the model that you have, even overnight, so that it completely drains out and then once it does that, you're gonna recharge it again and that will reset any sort of software related issue that you may be experiencing. Now, the next thing you can do if you're still having issues with it is try to go ahead and unpair and repair your Apple Watch. In order to do that, again, we're gonna be in our Apple Watch here and when we do go over here, we're gonna see that there's our Apple Watch here and everything, right? You wanna to go to general here. And then if you go down here to general where it says reset, you're gonna do where it says erase Apple Watch, basically content and setting. And once you do that, it's gonna delete everything on the Apple Watch here. And then of course you're gonna reconnect it so that after you do the reset, erase it, which again will take 10 to 15 minutes or so. And then you're gonna re connect it again like you would do a basic new setup. And that's gonna be the last resort thing to do if you really can't get the Apple Watch to turn on and it's blinking. And if all of these steps don't work, most likely it could be a defective hardware related issue. In that case, you'll need to take it to the Apple Store and hopefully they can resolve it. So I hope the troubleshooting steps we gave you resolve the problem for you. So please make the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.